Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here's Google Apps Updates Roundup number 14. In this video, I'm going to show you all the new changes in Google Apps that took place in the fourth week of February 2021. And in a couple of days or less, I will be uploading the 15th episode that will include March week one updates. So let's see what's new with Google Apps. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Let's start with Gcam. And if you are a Pixel user and have Google Camera version 8.2, now when you tap and hold on the shutter key or press and hold on the volume down key to record a quick video under the camera tab, you will get two new gestures. The first one will allow you to lock the shutter key by swiping it to the left and keep the phone recording video all the time. The second gesture you get when you tap and hold on the shutter key and then swipe up or down, you will be able to change the zoom levels. But keep in mind, when you lock the shutter key, you will not be able to swipe up or down anymore. You can only do this before locking your shutter key. I got Gcam version 8.2 only on my Pixel 4a, which is currently running Android 12 Developer Preview 1. I couldn't get it on my Pixel 3 XL, 4 XL, or the Pixel 5. So hopefully Google will push the update to more devices soon. Next, Google Maps finally got an app-wide dark theme and it looks gorgeous. As you see here, the navigation area has a dark blue background with light blue colors for the streets. You will also see different shades of gray all over the app with blue accent colors for the buttons. Here you have light gray color for the navigation menu. And when you go to search, you will see the same thing, dark gray and the blue accent colors. To activate the new dark theme, simply tap on your profile picture and then go to settings you will see a new menu item here called theme you can choose between three options either to always use light or dark theme or to match your device settings another new feature in google maps is the railroad crossing notifications so if you have any railroad crossing in your trip you might get a notification like this to set your expectations about any delays that might occur because of it this feature is available on Waze for a while and finally Google decided to include it in Google Maps as well. Next, Google Assistant. And now you will get a new card when you ask your assistant to play music on the lock screen. So let me show you how it looks. Play music. As you see, this new card will show you the album art the name of the song and the service you are using to play your music, plus some media controls like play and pause and skipping tracks. Also on lock screen, Google Assistant now supports more commands like making calls, sending messages, set alarms or timers. So let me show you an example. Call my other number. So as you see here, the phone started the call without me unlocking the device. And it works with messages as well. Send a message to my other number. Got it. What's the message? This is a test message. Sending. So as you see, I was able to send a message on my lock screen. And the first thing that came up to my mind after using this feature would someone else be able to make calls or send messages from my phone while it's locked? And the quick answer is no, because Google Assistant will only respond to these commands when it detects your voice. Anyways, let me show you how to turn the feature on or off to match your preference. You need to go to your Google Assistant settings and then scroll down to personalization. You will see here a toggle called lock screen personal results. By turning off this toggle, you will not be able to do any of these commands on the lock screen. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price, and it's even better in March 2021. There's a big sale campaign till the end of the month, so let's take Windows 10 Pro OEM key as an example. The price after discount is $20.22, but this is not everything. You can get extra 25% discount through the whole month using my special promo code ID20. As you see, you can get an original Windows 10 OEM key for $15.16, which is insanely cheap. All the links for March 2021 sale campaign are in the description below. So let's get back to the review. Next, Google app. And I will start with the Discover tab. 
I found quite few changes under this tab. I took screen recordings to show you how they look. And the first one is the new stories section. Under this section, you will get a carousel of three different stories that you can scroll through horizontally. And when you tap on any of the stories, you will get the same interface like any story with the timeline at the top. And you can tap on the sides to go back or forward. Uh, tapping or doing any incorrect swipe in this area will show you a quick animation explaining to you how to scroll through the stories like this one. And if you want to share any of them, you will get a share button at the top right corner. The next change is some ads will show you an embedded photo gallery with two small arrows that will allow you to scroll through the photos by tapping on them. And in some cases, if you got the same type of ads while scrolling, if you didn't touch the screen, they will automatically play the photos in a slideshow. Once you tap on any of the arrows, the slideshow will stop and you can manually control the photos. And finally, as per 9 to 5 Google, you might see YouTube Shorts. Shorts are 15 seconds long videos that are currently available on YouTube. And as you see, they will appear in a carousel similar to the one we saw in the stories section. You will get up to 10 different videos to choose from. And this is how it looks. And if you are inside the Google app itself, you will see a new change. Tapping on the microphone icon will show you this new animated card with Google Assistant ready to listen for your command. You will also see search a song button over here. Tapping on it will start your music ID. You can play, sing or hum a song. Also, when you say any command in this page, the results will appear within the Google app. So let me show you an example. What's the weather? It's 20 degrees and clear in Dubai. As you see, the results are appearing in the Google app instead of showing in the Google Assistant card in case if I used Google Assistant directly from my phone. Next, Chromecast with Google TV. If you are using the Apple TV app on your Chromecast with Google TV, now you can control the app using your Google Assistant through your smart speakers, smart displays, or even your phone. So you can simply ask your Google Assistant to play any of your favorite Apple TV shows. Next, Amazon Music is now available on Chromecast with Google TV. I tried it myself and I managed to uninstall the app on my device. But Amazon Music is only available in selected countries that you can see now on the screen. Next, Google Duo. Currently, Google is rolling out a new codec called Lyra that will allow the app to make good quality video calls on extremely slow internet connections. Even if you have a dial-up connection, that will be more than enough for the app to make a good quality video call, and that will help a lot of people with access to very slow internet connections. Next, Gboard. And as you may know, if you have any text, links, or even photos copied to your clipboard, you will see this pill-shaped button to quickly paste your stuff in the text field. But if you think this feature is not for you, now you can turn it off under Gboard settings. When you go to settings, you will see a new menu item here called the clipboard. And when you go inside, you will see this toggle saying show recently copied text and images in suggestions bar. Once you turn off the toggle, you will no longer see this button. Next, Wear OS. And now if you don't have any notifications on your smartwatch, you will get a new text saying nothing to see here and a set of no notifications like before. Next, YouTube TV. And now you can add MLB.TV as an extra add-on. Here you have two options, either to pay $24.99 a month or to pay $129.99 for the full season. Next, Android Auto now supports a split screen on displays larger than 7 inches. So if you have a 7 inch display or a smaller, don't expect the feature to show up for now. And here's how it works. This is an example with Spotify as the primary app and Google Maps as the secondary app. So it depends which app you opened first. The first one is the primary app and it will be always located on the left side, consuming around 70% of the display real estate, keeping only 30% for the secondary app. Here is another example with Google Maps as the primary app on the left side and Spotify as a secondary app on the right side. Unfortunately, it doesn't support the 50-50 ratio like on Android phones. You will not be able to resize any of the apps or swap between them as well. So it seems like the feature is currently limited, so hopefully Google will add more features to it in the future. Google is also rolling out some Google Assistant based games to Android Auto, like Trivia Crack, Jeopardy, Song Quiz, and Google's own Are You Feeling Lucky? 
All you need to do is to say the magic word followed by play a game. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the changes I spotted in Google Apps in the fourth week of February. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.